Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris with Digital Rim. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to apply like a clothing object onto your character by transferring the mesh data from one object to the other. I know it sounds a little confusing, but we're gonna hop right into it and I'm gonna show you just what we're talking about. Let's go. All right, boom. So we have this character here, right? We have our character that we're working on and we have this glove that we're putting on our character. Now, let me show you. One of these gloves, see, this glove doesn't isn't attached like this glove is, right? So I'm going to show you how to transfer the data from this hand, the same data that's using to, to, to mold this hand or control the hand, the same data into this glove. So we're going to show you how to do that right now. So we're going to put it back into the rest pose. It's very, very simple to do. So what you want to do is go ahead and grab your object either a shirt whatever clothing material that's overlaying your hand or overlaying your character you want to grab that grab the grab the armature control p with empty groups so you're going to parent with empty groups right now you can click off of that now what we want to do is just copy the groups from the body so we're going to select the body and we're going to copy that to the hand so now we want to copy those weights, that, that paint, those weighted paints from the body to the hand. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Once you select the body, then select the hand. Make sure you go into weight paint mode. At the top, you'll see weights. Go ahead and hit that weights. Transfer weights right there. One last step is instead of source layers uh, selected by name, or you want it to make sure it's at by name, not active layer, but by name. So all of the all of the vertex groups, how it's how they are named and how their values are going to be assigned by name. So boom, and once you're done with that, go ahead and click off of it. And everything should be lined up now. So now we're going to go back into object mode. And now when we pose our character, it actually shows with his hand and it follows his hand just like that it's that simple so if you're having trouble where maybe you do it maybe you did try to automatic weights and you're having trouble where it's not aligning perfect aligning up perfectly use this method and you can see that it'll work for you i can give you a good example because i know one in which hand doesn't work when you do automatic weights is this hand so let's just do this we're gonna remove these that group. We're gonna remove, uh, delete all groups, right? And you already see it doesn't line up. So let's say I wanted to do the automatic weights. Let's do the control P to the to the um, to the armature. We're gonna do with uh, automatic weights. Right? And it kind of snapped to it. It snapped to it. I noticed it snapped to it. Right? But look, when we did it with the automatic weights, for some reason, that hand just isn't lining up. Again, if you're running into this issue, if you're running into this issue, what you want to do is go ahead and, for one, delete all of these, delete all of the groups out of this. So, delete all of those groups. Because essentially... Essentially, what we want to do is take all of the information from this hand and put it on that glove. And that could be for a shirt, that could be for anything. But we want to take all that information from the body and put it right onto the other one. So, again, we're going to do this step again. Select the object you want to do that to, shirt, whatever the apparel is. Select the armature, control P with empty groups. This will create all of the vertex groups with no kind of value in them. Then we're going to select the body because we want the value out of the body. Select the actual the actual object that you want to change or to copy into. We're going to go into vertex weight paints. I mean weight paint mode. We're going to go into weights, transfer weights. And it's going to transfer weights. As soon as you hit that, you can see it snap. Make sure you go to the source layer selection right here at the bottom and make sure it's by name, by name. Once you do that, click out of it, you should be good to go. So you're going to go back into object mode. Now, when we manipulate it, it 
took in all of the data from the actual hand. So boom, there it is. Now you got to see exactly how you can transfer your weight paints from your body to an actual, you know, actual apparel or actual object that you have on your character. Very, very useful to learn this, learn this, something that, you know, I definitely wish I would have known in the beginning or starting out, but now you know just how to transfer the data from your actual body onto clothing. So again, you this could be for shirts, pants, hats, all of these different things that you that you create for your character now you don't have to re you know repaint the weights and things like that because sometimes even repainting the weights it takes forever but then on the second note it actually um it actually doesn't do the best job so this is going to allow you to do just like that so with that being said hopefully you took this inspired you to do that one thing that takes you closer to your goals by continue to work on blender get better at blender but more than anything go to digitalrealm.com and get access to our community where you can learn tips and tricks just like this as far as media production or if you have a project or a brand that you're starting for yourself how uh, you can get started with us at digital rim media agency so with that being said hopefully they inspired you to do that one thing that takes you closer to your goals like i always say all you have a blessed day and make sure you like subscribe or share with a friend so with that being said all you have a blessed day lady y'all peace <laughs>